seven chat GPT prompts that will supercharge your student note-taking in Obsidian. Most of these prompts were gotten from fellow YouTuber, John Maverick, who is doing some legendary things in the field of AI. So check him out up above. For each prompt, I'm gonna show the prompt itself as well as an example of how I used it. Let's go. Prompt one, ideate connections using the idea compass. The idea compass is something I first learned about from fellow YouTuber Vicky Zhao, which is essentially looking at an idea through a compass analogy, like the north, the east, the south, and the west. The north being where it comes from, and east, south, and west all being different things off of that analogy as well. This prompt is great for finding connections between ideas when you're stuck, as well as developing an understanding for how a note fits into the bigger picture. I personally used it to analyze the flow state a bit more, and I found it really insightful in coming up with the idea of the flow state being connected to cognitive overload, because the flow state fundamentally requires that you are inside of the Goldilocks zone, which means you're doing an activity that's not too hard, it's frustrating, but not too easy, it's boring. And that really connects to cognitive overload in that if you're too cognitively overloaded, you're gonna be outside of the Goldilocks zone. So this is just a really great prompt to look at an idea I've known for a while and see it in a new light. Prompt two is simplify. This prompt is fantastic for trying to understand something as well as explaining it through a background that you have. I personally have a big background in video games, as you might be able to tell. So I asked you to explain the complicated concept of non-duality in video game terms. And it gave me like, actually a pretty dang good explanation using the video game terms that I'm used to. So you could apply this to yourself using, I don't know, woodworking or someone that is really good at running or someone that's really good at hiking, anything that you want, any background. Prompt three is summarize. This prompt is great for taking long things and making them short. <laughs> and finding the focal ideas in something. I used it to focus in on the core ideas of Stoicism when I fed it some Stoic text, and it gave me a great output of the core values by distilling what it was that I gave it from beforehand. As someone that's been into Stoicism for a while, I feel like chunking all of the stoic information into these core ideas is really helpful. Prompt four is 12 favorite problems. This prompt is great for finding information relevant to you in a text. What the 12 favorite problems are is a idea first came up with by Richard Feynman, Nobel Prize winning physicist. And he was known to have 12 favorite problems that he ran everything through in his day. This meant that he always focused his attention on stuff that was relevant to what he was trying to answer at the time. And by asking ChatGPT to distill information based on those 12 favorite problems, we can specifically see what's relevant to us. So I did it with the book, How to Take Smart Notes, but just imagine how you could do this with anything, like asking it to summarize your book highlights based off of your 12 favorite problems or an article or anything. Prompt five is ideating conceptual notes. This prompt is great for people that use the Zettelkasten system of note-taking, as well as ideating conceptual notes you might not have thought of. For those that don't know, conceptual notes are a term that John Maverick and I use, which stand for notes that focus on one core idea, which allows them to be linked to other ideas inside of your note-taking system because they are so atomic. This doesn't mean they can't be large, but they focus on one idea. So I fed the ChatGPT some of my highlights from The Road to Character, and it came up with some really great concept notes that I could link out to other stuff, like the resume virtues versus the eulogy virtues. Now, some of this I would have thought myself, but I do think it is still a great way of finding those holes that you might not have noticed if you'd just gone without the AI. AI is your thinking companion, not your replacement. Prompt six, finding related notes for a note. This prompt is great for when you know you want to connect two notes, but you don't know how to connect them. I fed it some notes that I had on Aristotle about how Aristotle believed human's greatest purpose was in cultivating their character to show virtue in every circumstance circumstance. And I wanted to connect that to some book highlights that I took on Zen practice as well as Buddhism. So I asked it to 
connect those. And it actually came up with some great ways of connecting them that I might not have thought of on my own. So once again, this is great for brainstorming when you're stuck rather than replacing your thinking. Prompt seven, getting extra resources based on your highlights. This prompt is great for when you want a personalized list of resources to do further research on. So I was looking to get into behavioral economics and I knew I had some highlights of stuff that resonated with me from the field. So I fed it to ChatGPT using this prompt right here. And it gave me two books, which are really well known in the behavioral economics field as being just phenomenal. And those are Nudge, and Thinking Fast and Slow. Now I've read both of them and my God, they are fantastic reads, highly recommend. But imagine doing this with anything. You could feed it some highlights that you've taken on other books and get more personalized recommendations. And this is how you create a personal learning plan instead of going online and taking a curriculum that might not resonate with you specifically. Now, if you want to get access to these seven ChatGPT templates and much, much, much more. You should check out John Mavericks and I's flagship note-taking course, Obsidian University. In it, you'll learn how to find enjoyment in learning and studying by breaking out of the cookie cutter student mindset. You'll flesh out a systemized process for note-taking and studying from your lectures. You'll create a unique personal knowledge base that scales across semesters. You'll learn note-taking and studying strategies to get straight A's. You'll learn how to navigate the overwhelming amount of information and overcome FOMO. You'll learn how to integrate AI into your note-taking. And you'll gain access to a community discord with fellow students looking to make the same transformation. Join the new student era today by checking out Obsidian University in the description below. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day and bye-bye.